Welcome to Ashton Next. We're just going to jump right in and play. Just imagine going to school one day and all of a sudden uh, you get sucked into a world and you're told to save it. That's pretty, pretty crazy, right? But that's what this game's about. Um, you're this 16 year old kid named Astonax, Astonax, I don't know how you say it, to be honest. Never knew how. Um, they could be called Astonax for all I know. But if you've never played this game, this is a really, really good game and I suggest you at least give it a shot. These enemies though, they drive me insane. These little eyeballs that drop these marbles and these little weird pimply looking things floating in the air. These weird plant things. It's been a while since I played this game, so I might have to concentrate a little bit. The eyeball guys are pretty annoying. That little meter at the bottom of the screen is your power. The higher it gets, the more damage you do when you swing. I always like this music. 
This guy's funny. I just get him in the corner, just keep swinging. He just keeps hopping, takes it. Pretty easy boss, right? Round one, one, clear. Imagine being 16 years old and getting brought to this world to save Princess Rosebud and you get all these uh, guys after you. It's pretty intense, especially, uh, doesn't explain, does this kid know how to fight or they just give him this ax that can upgrade to a spear and a sword. He just kind of gets thrown in there. I mean, it's kind of like uh, something I wish would have happened to me when I was a kid. Just going to school one day and it's like, Oh well, uh, you know what, you don't have to go to school. You can uh, just go to this random world and save this really hot princess. I mean, that's cool. That's, that's fine with me. But I wonder if he'll get in trouble for cutting class. See, now I got my uh, axe upgraded to a sword. It's way better. For some reason, I never liked the, the spear that you get. Um, I don't know why, it just doesn't seem as strong. I never like using the spear. I always use the axe or the sword. I get the spear because you have to get that upgrade in between. They always put enemies right there in jumps too. So you gotta be careful when you're trying to make a jump. Yeah, this guy's kind of funny too. Every time you smack him, he just does this little high five thing where he comes up and tries to swat you. It's like, high five, buddy. He's pretty easy to beat. And that's the end of that level. Inazumi. This level's pretty cool because it looks like there's an eyeball on the wall. And it looks like a claw. It's kind of kind of neat there. I used to, at least that's what I think it looks like. When I was a kid, I used to see that and thought it was kind of creepy. And these guys here, I don't know what they are. There's a little slime monster that gets up and does, dances a jig and shoots arrows out at you. Be nice if I can make this jump. These enemies respawn too. It kind of gets, kind of gets annoying. Say, how was I supposed to know he was going to be up there?
Yeah, I really don't like the these guys, these flying bosses, because you can't really cheese them like you can the the other enemies. I've only got like one health. I always thought this was funny. You can kind of see which side she's going to come from, at least on the right side, because you kind of see her little uh, snakies, like on the side of the screen before she even comes across. It doesn't work on the left side, but you do see it on the right side. It kind of glitches. Probably shouldn't use all my magic for the other guy, but see, you can tell that she's going to come from the right side now. being super cautious because I've only got one heart. Got a little close. Hmm. Almost got it that time getting a little careless. The figure should be about dead, but there we go. Thank goodness. Thought I was gonna get bit by the snake. Yo Goku. I think this game has a pretty good soundtrack as, as well. Seems I can't can't speak very well right now. I don't know, maybe this game just got me tense since it's been a while since I played it. I don't know what those things are, little flying slime booger monsters. What was that stuff called? Um, back in the day, like Floam. It's kind of like Nickelodeon Gak or something, but it was just like foam, but colored. Yeah, they're Floam. If anybody gets that reference, then leave a like and subscribe. And if you don't get that reference, like and subscribe anyways, just because I'm cool like that. Do it! Man, these eyeball guys are just so annoying. They just think they're on every level and they just bounce around like goofballs and they just don't go away. Gotta kill the flume. Oh yeah, this guy, he kind of stinks. I usually just try to beat him into the corner like this and just well away. Don't want to hit him too much because then he'll go to the other side like that. So sometimes he'll stick in one spot and you can just kind of sit there and do that. Because I uh, find that lightning attack hard to avoid. I always like this level. It's called Rent. You got to go pay the rent. No ask your snacks, ask snacks. He's got to pay rent. Got to go save the princess. Got to pay the rent first. I was just going to school. Now all of a sudden I got a job in this night or whatever. I got to pay the rent.
This is similar to the other level, except I'm going down instead of up. And different colors, obviously. Little baby pterodactyl guys are kind of cute. Not that thing up there. Look at him. He, he hit me and... Yeah, you didn't hit me. That was fake. I was trying to swing and hit him, but somehow I took damage. Let me go down here and pay my rent. Gotta pay my rent today. There's Boulder McGee guy. Yeah, I don't like that guy too much either. This thing always made me think of uh, Mother Brain or something from Metroid. Just looks like a little brain inside of a thing. Oh, I could be Krang. Didn't think about that. This thing shoots bubbles out. It's kind of annoying. One heart again, yeah. Paid my rent today. marshy well i'm gonna leave this video off here for now guys because this level here i hate it this i hate this level like everything about it um it's this one always gave me a problem when i was a kid so um i will definitely be back like and subscribe hit the bell whatever you want to do and i'll see you in the next one